So a lot of people in America are pro-choice, pro-choice, but not everybody has signed up for the full pro-choice program. What does that mean exactly, pro-choice? Well, a number of states, including California, now have legal abortion up until the moment of birth. Who is for that? Not many people are actually for that, even pro-choice people. The moment of birth, really? That's murder, actually. And so to draw attention to it, a 23-year-old man called Mason Deschamps has decided to climb skyscrapers all over the country, free climb them without a rope or a harness. He is pro-life Spider-Man. He scaled the New York Times building in New York, the Salesforce Tower in San Francisco, huge buildings. Yesterday, he climbed the 54-story Ritz-Carlton Tower in Los Angeles. Oh, dude. Man, all the blood just rushed out of my toes. From the top of the Ritz, eye level with the lion and crown, is Mason Deschamps scaling the side of the building. He climbed the 54 floors up in the heart of downtown LA with climbing chalk, but no rope, to take a stand once again. The 22-year-old is pro-life and left a sign on the side of the Ritz-Carlton in support. So pro-life Spider-Man was promptly arrested. The police accused him from, of suffering from a mental illness, but he is out of jail, thankfully, and joins us tonight. Mason Schaap, thanks so much for coming on. I, you know, looking at those pictures, uh, you know, are you afraid? I just have to ask the obvious question. That, that looked ter legit terrifying. Yeah, you know, Tucker, we're seeing so many people today live their lives in fear, Christians included. But we're not yes. called to live our lives in fear. We're called to live our lives in faith. We know abortion is murder because at conception, these babies in the womb have their own unique DNA that is separate from the mother. So we need to do everything in our peaceful means to stop this from happening, regardless of the backlash or the consequences. And I get called a radical. But... The most radical thing you can do in the pro-life movement is to do nothing. Yeah, so you're mentally ill now, I guess, is what they're saying. I mean, it does seem like a pretty handy catch-all dismissal for people whose views we don't like, I have noticed. Um, do you feel that you are mentally unbalanced? You know, I stopped trying to convince people that I'm not crazy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm doing this to raise money for women who really need help, women that are in a crisis yeah. pregnancy. Uh, you're seeing states like California issue uh, Proposition 1, which legalizes elective abortion up until birth. So I climbed these buildings to raise money for an organization called Let Them Live and show these states what loving thy neighbor really means. It doesn't mean killing your child. It means supporting them through acts of charity and providing things like job counseling and uh, help with their bills so they can get back on their feet. Well, that's, that's kind of the point. I mean, again, you know, always trying to be open-minded. A lot of good people describe themselves as pro-choice. But if you really care about women, wouldn't you want to support women who don't want to have an abortion? Because presumably a lot who do have abortions probably would like another option, but they don't. Why don't more people support those options, I wonder? Well, I, I, I really do think that we have a culture of murder. I, I think that yeah. these people, they don't care about these women. They care about their agenda and what they're trying to push they want less people. It's sort of a Thanos argument, you know? The less people on the earth, the less people that they have to show love to. Oh. Last question, how, how did you get arrested? Like, were they waiting for you at the top and did they actually take you to jail? Yeah, you know, they, they, uh, they always wait for me at the top and I, I get to the top and they're, they're always slightly impressed, but I, I tell them what I'm doing. And, and this, uh, this time I'm actually climbing to help a, a specific mother named Olivia. And we're trying to raise fifty thousand dollars to help her and, and other women who are in a in a crisis pregnancy uh, at letthemlive.org. And so hopefully we can uh, we can make that happen and I uh, accomplish the mission. Man, most of us just do the Thanksgiving turkey trot. We want to help a charity. We're not we're not climbing the Salesforce Tower with no ropes. Pretty amazing. Don't fall, Mason Shump. Great to see yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know, uh, Tucker. Uh, the offer still stands. If you want to come rock climbing, I'll be your rope gun. <laughs> no way, man. But I admire you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So the Biden administration has been telling him all kinds of different contradictions.